Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. We're finally getting around to give you a tour of Never Enough. We've never actually done it in the four years that we've owned her. So let's start with the outside. She's a British built 70 foot traditional narrowboat. She was built in 1988 by Les Allen, one of the most famous and sought after boat builders in Albury in the West Midlands of England. She is constructed out of British steel to the ratio of 12, 6, 5, which means she has a 12 mm base plate, 6 mm along the hull, and 5 mm cabin and roof. This is her in October 2017 when we brought her out of water to black her. As she was being pressure washed, the strange cream coloured paint was starting to be revealed. Nobody knew what it was at first and under close inspection by Jonathan and David Johns from Cruising the Cut, it became more curiouser and curiouser. After further investigation, it was found that she had been painted with Primacom, which is a boat primer, after she had been sandblasted back to bare metal by her previous owner, which was done in 2011. This was confirmed by the boat surveyor, who said any of the pitting on her was all historic, way before Primacon had been added to her in 2011. We were so impressed by the condition of the hull, thanks to Primacon, that we decided that we would give her two new coats of Primacon before blacking. The weed hatch had a coating of Primacon too. She spent nearly three weeks out of water on blocks, and as you can see, she looks absolutely fabulous. We decided to give her this length of time to make sure that each layer of paint and primer that was used on her was thoroughly hardened before the next one was applied and as I say I think you'll agree she looks absolutely fantastic. We also added some more anoids to her, another eight to the eight that's already on her which included four on the base plate so she now has a total of 16 anoids fitted to her. Now on top of the roof she has fitted three 245 watt Panasonic solar panels Jonathan fitted these with some wonderful brackets from Midsummer Energy. We made a vlog about this, which is a solar panel setup, which is our vlog number 39, in which Jonathan shows you what he did and how he fitted them to the boat. Stepping into the boat from the stern is my favourite room on the boat. It's the boatman's cabin. It's original from the boat was new. With its solid wooden floor, it's a really lovely cosy room. It's complete with its boatman's range, hurricane lamp and its pull down beds. And it makes a lovely cosy bedroom when our families and friends come to stay. Under the boatman's cabin is a 60 gallon diesel tank. From the boatman's cabin you step into the engine room which is home to the wonderful Russell Newbury two cylinder DM2 engine. It has 18 horsepower and does a maximum of four miles an hour, which is perfect for cruising the canals and inland waterways. Also in the engine room are the batteries, which are two starter and four leisure 12 volt AGMs, which were new in 2021. Also in the engine room is a Victron 3000 watt inverter. From the engine room you step into the bedroom. From here and throughout the rest of the boat it was completely refitted in 2011. Under the double bed is the calorifier and the accumulator for the hot water and also some storage space. The bedroom also has a full-size radiator, full-size wardrobe with six drawers underneath plus some storage over the bed. Off the passageway is the bathroom with a large rectangular shower which has a six foot one inch headroom, a chrome towel rail, a separate toilet a ceramic basin with chrome taps and a mirrored cabinet. Next is the galley. It has a Sanyo microwave, a Bosch dishwasher, a Bosch washing machine, a Belling oven and grill, a Smeg gas hob and also a fridge. It has a huge granite worktop and breakfast bar and lots of storage space in its solid wooden cupboards both above and below the work surfaces. The large open saloon 
has plenty of space for either a freestanding sofa or chairs. It has a full size radiator, a more so squirrel stove, storage unit, and storage space under the steps of the coal. It has a 650 litre stainless steel water tank fitted under the well deck. There is also storage and seating in the well deck too. And in the bow of the boat is the gas locker. We hoped you would enjoy the tour through Never Enough. She really is a superb boat and we are going to miss her so much. As you know, she is currently up for sale. Full details will be in the comments below. She is currently up for sale through Devizes Marina on the Kennet and Avon Canal. Please subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave some comments. We love hearing from you. And if you have been, thanks for watching.